how would Rory Stewart cope with the unpredictability of our principal international ally, the United States? Should we be rewriting the international order? So I imagine that is prompted by the imminent return to power of jailbird Donald J. Trump. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's terrifying, absolutely terrifying. One of the terrifying things is that, sadly, I mean, obviously, I want to do all I can to help people beat Donald Trump. And it's very uncomfortable talking about the fact that I'm afraid Biden does not look like somebody who's going to be president in five years' time. He looks frail. And I think the Democrats have missed a huge opportunity to find a new candidate. And I'm very, very worried as we get closer to the election, I guess, about two things. One of them is Biden's health, and the other is AI. I think the next election will be defined in the United States by artificial intelligence. And I think the use which AI can be put to for deep fakes, all the things that Trump was able to exploit Facebook and Twitter to do in 2016 are going to be much worse next time around. So I think Trump has a significant chance of winning this election. And it may come because of suppressing democratic votes. It's not because of changing people's minds. Nobody's going to change their mind. It's a rerun. Everyone knows what they think about Biden and Trump. They've known what they thought about Biden and Trump for four years now. They're not changing their minds. But the turnout is going to be the problem. And if Trump gets in again, it is going to be devastating for what remains of the liberal world order. Devastating. And remember, this is going to be happening at a time where it is extremely likely that Marine Le Pen is going to be elected as president in France. Macron is not succeeding at the moment in generating any potential successor. And she commands the only party that seems to have the chance to come through. A Europe dominated by Marine Le Pen, by a, a, a French far-right president, is much, much more worrying than anything we've seen because the French presidency is much stronger. It's not like Giorgio Maloney, who's a populist being elected in Italy. The Italian prime minister doesn't matter in the same way, either for Italy or for the European Union. The French president really does matter. So I think a world in which Trump takes over in the US, in which uh, Le Pen takes over in France, in which Narendra Modi continues in India, is a very, very disturbing world. And were that to happen, would it um, recalibrate your view of the hole that Britain is in? Um, would your perspective on British democracy perhaps slightly improve, do you think? Yes. Um, I think we have caught the populist bug. I think there's no accident that between 2014 and 2018 you have Modi elected in India, you have the Law and Justice Party in Poland, you have the Brexit referendum, you have Trump, you have Bolsonaro in Brazil. And that's because of some of the things we talked about in the first half. It's also about the way that social media works. I mean, Tom and I love social media, but our, 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 his inhabiting of Twitter, if you follow his Twitter account, seems to largely involve um, rather charming uh, uh, comments about his love of dinosaurs or fossils or how particularly he, good he is as an amazing batsman. Unfortunately, Politically controversial opinions. <laughs> unfortunately, Twitter is not always like that. Twitter is not always a kind of cosy Tom Holland world. Um, the truth of the matter is that it is, along with Facebook, has done so much to polarize and destabilize our politics. And I think what Tom's getting at with that question is that Britain, oddly, having been part of that general movement, may have come together better than some other countries. There may be some forms of resilience in Britain. We're not immune, and we shouldn't be complacent, we shouldn't be smug. I think there is a very, very bad world where Suella Braverman takes over the Conservative Party. Um, Lee Anderson takes over the Conservative Party. Um, nonetheless, I think I'm, I'm reassured that for all the problems we have at the moment, we are not facing Donald Trump.